How much sleep do people really need? If you're an average American, seven and a half hours. So you seven and a half, now why not eight or uh, seven? Uh, the, the need for sleep, we think, is a U-shaped curve. That means if you get a lot less than seven or eight hours, uh, people tend to have a higher risk of death, bad things. And if you get a lot more than seven or eight hours, the same thing applies. Wow, so it's pretty good to get a seven and a half hour it's sleep. It's pretty narrow, seven to eight. Yeah. Most Americans get about six and a half. So they don't get, so there's increased death rate in Americans because they don't get enough sleep. That's right. Uh, can you teach yourself, if I'm much, oh, I can go on four hours of sleep, you know, I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> hey, what's wrong with that statement? You hear it over and over again with patients who come in to see you. They do fine on five hours, always have, uh, no problems. Uh, that's just not true. People who sleep less than five or six hours a night uh, generally have a higher risk of cardiovascular diseases, cancer, diabetes, a lot of health uh, so, conditions. So it's not just being drowsy behind the car. It causes other medical problems. Yeah, that's one of the, the first things you learn. It's not just lifestyle problems. It's not just sleepiness or poor quality sleep at night. You have to approach the, the patient from their medical comorbidities as well. Uh, if I've missed uh, my seven and a half hour sleep for a couple of straight nights, can I catch up the next night? You can. We think that uh, you are able to catch up on your sleep debt, is what we call uh -huh. it, uh, and uh, that pays dividends right away in terms of your ability to focus um, and your performance throughout the day.